Alrighty guys, what's up? Coming back to you with another video finally. So, this video we're going to be not playing FS, but we're going to be uh, discussing something. So, um, <clears throat> I have been kind of thinking this over. What in the world do we have open in here? The DLC page. I don't want the DLC page for whatever reason it's opening. Um... We're going to be discussing something. So, we have the save game here. Save game number one on Midwest Horizons, which is the one that we have been doing the series on. I do have a few other maps, and there are actually a couple of maps that are coming up very soon as well. That um, could be very interesting to uh, move to if you guys would like to see that. So, um, I have to look at something here on my phone that I sent myself to double check something. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, so, you guys let me know down in the comments below. Or actually, don't do that. I'm going to throw a poll up uh, here towards the end of the video once I've shown all of the options. So, option number one is um, we can stick to Midwest Horizon. Uh, there are some things that have to be kind of adjusted on there. Um, if you guys remember the issue of where all balers were making large round bales that I talked about uh, a few episodes back in the series um, well this save game 2 here that I have going uh, on Michigan farming I was having that same issue and um, on Midwest Horizons I thought okay round bales they just want to be big so let's go to square bales well square bales decided they just wanted to be itty bitty idiot cubes as I like to call them so something was not right there so I figured okay you know what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to just say screw it we're just gonna have to buy the bales and just do it that way we're gonna have to go to the dealership and load hay and bring it back and same with straw that kind of thing well as I was playing on my Michigan farming save game I had a thought okay so I had the John Deere 568 round baler and the uh, Vermeer 605M. Both of those balers are scripted to make large round bales. So I took both of those out. And then I went through and I took all of the maps that I don't play on ever out as well. Now I still have all of those mods that I took out, all the maps and those two balers. They're just in a folder on my desktop instead of in my mods folder. So go back into the game after removing Medicine Creek being one of those maps everything works just fine round bales are normal size again square bales are normal size again as well so that being said if I wanted to get back to round bales on Medicine or on Midwest Horizons could could stick to square bales so if you guys choose to stick to the Midwest Horizon series I will have another video talking about some of, the, some of the stuff that will need to happen on that save game. Um, some of the options of things that can happen on that save game. And then, excuse me. <sighs> then I will leave it up to you guys as to what you would like done. Now, another option is moving to another map. I know moving to another series you know option for moving to another series I know I know but you know there are a lot of other nice nice maps that have come out since Midwest Horizons has come out uh, more importantly the version even the version that we're playing on which is more recent than the original Midwest Horizons um, so first of those maps being Elkader, Iowa now I do need to go I haven't looked to see if version 1.1 of this map is released yet or not it was supposed to be released today I haven't gone on Facebook and looked at the page uh, on MRG mappings page 
very well done map very realistic map based in Iowa um, you got you know pictured in the um, uh, op in the screen here uh, you can see a farm you got some bins you got some buildings you got some barns this f is actually your main farm starting on this map this is where you spawn at in the game this is the area of land that you start off own owning when starting in easy mode which is what I usually like to start with so that way if the map has buildings that spawn in those buildings are on there and everything is good to go plus it just makes things a little bit easier for a series um, this main farm it has the bins so perfect for crops it's got lots of storage space on the farm there are all kinds of shops there to store plenty of equipment there is um, if you look this barn back here is the pig barn uh, off to the right and then off to the left here in front is the dairy barn so not only can you have pigs but you can also have dairy cows at your farm so that is something that we could get into we could be running kind of medium sized equipment kind of what we're running on Midwest Horizons similar um, I'd probably just kind of switch some stuff up um, just to kind of change it up from that series give us a little bit different of a variety in our equipment um, but then we can also get into our dairy cows we can get into pigs you know we can get into both we can get into just dairy we can get into just pigs uh, we could just stick to crops for a while whatever um, you know the things that I'm talking about for doing on the save games don't you know there's not gonna be a thing to vote for on those um, for right now it's just voting on sticking to the Midwest Horizon series or starting on one of the maps that I'm showing um, once w it's chosen by you guys what map uh, you know we want to run then I'll make a video discussing you know getting your guys input on stuff that you would like to see done on that series so here you know we have the Iowa map I have checked this map out it is a very very nice map um, I haven't played on it yet so any playing on it for the series which I from the start uh, I would be recording you know we can um, you know, if we move to a new map, basically what I'm going to be doing is we're going to have start off a video on our Midwest Horizons. We're going to be selling off all of our equipment. We're going to sell off all of our hay. Um, we're going to sell off all of our buildings, sell off everything, all of our land, everything that we have. And then we're going to take all of that money and we're going to move over to our new farm. So all the money that we get from selling all of our machinery on our other series or on the Midwest Horizon series should you guys choose to end that series and move to something else all of the money that we make from that will then go to the new map to start the new series and then I will show video of getting all the new equipment getting it all to the farm all of that kind of stuff so this is option number two Elkader Iowa um, option number three we have the Michigan farming map seasons ready as is I forgot to mention as is the uh, Iowa map here that is also seasons ready um, but here we have Michigan farming very nice map as you guys saw I already have a save game on this map uh, for my personal plane um, on there I mean I'm running large equipment I'm running lots of fields I have the ability to run 350 pigs and 800 dairy cows which I plan on actually doing um, I mean I have like 500 straw round bales put up already I've got like 200 and some 300 two 300 uh, hay bales already put up which I'm already in the process of putting up more you know I'm I'm doing a big time operation on there now should you guys choose this one we could run large equipment and a lot of fields and set up a good sized animal operation should that be something that you guys want to see on here or we can take the long route and we can run kind of a more medium setup on these large fields so this is also a very very nice map 
I really enjoy this map. Uh, the amount of time that I have on it, I think I have like 40 hours on it. Um, very, very nice map. I do like it. But, I mean, it's not the best map out of the ones that I'm showing you guys. By far. Um, there are other nicer ones, but... I'm not dissing the Michigan farming map. This is a very nice map. It's very well done. I enjoy it. So that's option number three. Option number four, there is the Sandy Bay map. Now, this is a lot different than any series I usually do. Normally, it's American farming. American maps. American equipment. Big equipment. Should you guys choose to see Sandy Bay, we would be running a lot smaller equipment. We would be more probably running a little more in-game equipment to kind of fit the um, UK style map. Um, I don't mind this map. Personally, it's okay. It's nice when I want to go do something different. When I want to take a step back from running the large fields, the large equipment... And just kind of go fiddle around with something else. Some different style. Now, not it may not be everybody's cup of tea. Personally, I'd rather run an American map. But, I'm doing this for you guys. So, I want to know what you guys want to see. Um, I'm pretty sure this is seasons ready. I'm not 100% on that. And, uh, also, we don't have to run seasons on any map that, we choose, that you guys choose to do. Um... I will set it up in the end of the video for the voting. For each map, there will be two different voting besides the Midwest Horizon. Because Midwest Horizon is going to stay with the Seasons mod as we've already started it with it. But these other maps that we plan, you know, that we could go on, there will be an option for with Seasons and an option for without. So there will be Midwest Horizons, there will be the Iowa map with seasons, Iowa map without seasons. There will be um, Michigan farming with seasons, Michigan farming without seasons, Sandy Bay with seasons, Sandy Bay without. That kind of thing. So, just to get your guys' input, um, we do have the Tennessee Valley map. Um, this map isn't done by any means. Uh, this is a map that um, the creator of the Upper Mississippi River Valley map uh, from 17 this is his latest work um, DR mapping or DR modding something like that is uh, his page name now um, it's not done but from the look at I've looked from the looking at it that I've done it doesn't look bad um, it does look very well done so we could take a look into this one again with or without seasons or we have the Welker Farms map. Um, we could do a lot of different kind of, th of things on here. We could run. We could if should you guys choose to do this map, um, we could run it with seasons or without. And something that for me personally, if we do this map, I would run seasons, and I would run equipment very similar to what Welker actually runs. Now, granted, I'm not going to have everything that they have, but for majority of the main equipment, I try and get a decent amount of the same stuff. Just kind of keep it somewhat realistic. And finally, last option, we have the Westby, Wisconsin map. This one is kind of more of a smaller farming setup. Um, it has a separate farm for animals, um, it's geared, you know, you just look at the picture, it's got more equipment, kind of like what we're running on Midwest Horizons. Um, granted, the fields are larger, they get large, uh, I have played on this map before in the past. It's not a horrible map, I don't mind it, but it is kind of, yeah, I didn't really explore a whole lot of anything for farmyards or anything to see. If there was a yard where when you get to the larger fields where you need bigger equipment, if you can store that equipment and actually get it into your yard um, and stuff like that. So those are our options. Um, we'll run back through them here. Uh, we have the Midwest Horizon series, continuing that series. Uh, we have El Elkader, Iowa, 
we can run with or without seasons. We have the Michigan farming map, we can run with or without seasons. Um, we have Sandy Bay, which we can run with or without seasons. We have Tennessee Valley, with or without seasons. Welker Farms, with or without seasons. And Westby, Wisconsin, with or without seasons. So what I'm going to do is I will put that up right now, up in the uh, one of the corners of the screen here. Um, I will put that poll up in the top. Um, if you don't, if it didn't pop up for you, just go to the top right corner and hit the uh, little icon and uh, vote for what you want to see. It is currently 11:01 Friday. I'm going to export and upload this. Actually, I'm not even going to edit this video. I'm just going to put it straight up for you guys. Um, I'm going to put this up, and as soon as it goes up. Um, I will let it go until Sunday night. So uh, I believe Sunday is actually Easter. So the night of Easter, and come Sunday night, I will look through. I will go back to the video. I will look through the polls and see what has the most amount of votes. Um, if there happens to be a tie, then I will pick uh, between the two. Um, if it comes down to something simple as you know, let's say, like, for example, the Iowa map. The Iowa map seasons and the Iowa map without seasons are tied, and they're the highest two. Then I'll probably just pick to run it with seasons, or something like that, or I'll just pick to run it without seasons, that kind of thing. Or, let's say, you know, the Iowa map has you know 50% of the vote and Welker has 50% of the vote then I'm gonna pick between one of those two maps so you know I'm leaving it up to you guys for 98% of the portion here unless it comes down to a tie then I will pick between the two so go ahead guys leave your votes let me know what you guys want to see and uh, We'll go from there in the very soon future. Uh, hopefully have videos of it up for you guys on uh, maybe Monday if uh, all goes well. So thanks everybody for watching and I will see you guys on Monday.